Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a slider, spring, how to specify the dynamic properties or change the material properties. So let's start, we will create a new assembly and the new assembly will be properties, for example the name, yeah, and directly I will apply into assembly new components will be base and this base will be default orientation. So this is our first model. You can see here that I have prepared the point on that model because we would like to use it for the spring. Again, the second component, what we would like to add is the plate and we would like to move over here, up and down, yeah? So we will use the slider connection. For the slider connection is necessary select two axes or cylindrical surfaces and then you know that we don't want to spin so you can have a look here that we would like to lock the rotation if you would like to lock rotation please select two datum planes so first one and the second one and the system will specify that orientation is locked and last but not least is the specification that we would like to fix the translation axis so we can select the component surface the bottom one and then the additional surface the system will measure the length so for example we can specify 135 please remember this value we will use it for the spring yeah isn't necessary but only that you you know and we would like to specify maximum minimum Yes, yeah, so maximum will be 135 millimeters and minimum will be zero. What does it mean? If I will finish and I'd like to specify the custom visualization so you can use the dragger. Yeah, and I will create a snapshot. Why? Because we would like to show you that is the possible to move with this component maximum minimum. Yes, yeah, so at the bottom is the zero at the top is 135 and you know that it's possible to use the constraints here yeah, for example and specify the value for additional snapshots so for for example you can specify 100 millimeters as the new value or 50 yeah, for example it will be better to see and then again you can create new snapshot and for example rename to 50 millimeter so snapshot one if I will select double click is 135 millimeters we can use like this okay so it was explanation how to work with the slider and specification of some requirements for your assembly constraints great and we would like to continue with the spring so I'd like to jump into application and mechanism and you know that right now we would like to use the spring and for example I'd like to apply the gravity and so on so first of all I will select edit definition for the gravity and I will check the axis y axis is going down so minus one for the standard magnitude is okay confirm and I would like to continue with initial conditions so I'd like to use no current screen, but I'd like to use the snapshot 135 millimeters. So I will confirm OK and we will use this initial condition for our analysis. Great. What we miss here is the spring. The spring definition is really easy because the system will explain to you that it is necessary to select two points. So please specify two points and select the first one and second one with control button. And if you will specify, you see that system will visualize the spring, but diameter is not suitable. You can really easy change it. So if I will jump into option tab, it's uh, possible to specify the diameter. So for example, 60, yeah. So I have measured before. So right now I know that the diameter is 60 for this spring. I'd like to focus on the additional values. And do you remember that I mentioned to you that 135 number is necessary to rem remember so you can see here that spring equilibrium displacement is set and you can use or you can change it so if you would like to have the stronger or lower you can specify the custom value 135 is okay and 
the stiffness coefficient we would like to specify and will be 300 kilogram per second too yeah so 300 is okay so i will confirm and confirm perfect the spring is ready you can simply try how it looks so you can use the dragger and you can move up and down here yeah? so it's going really well yeah and we can see here that the minimum value i think that zero is not good but you know that it's only approximation so you can change the maximum minimum value in for your example yeah so over here some something like this will be minimum okay fine for the explanation is good and we can continue with the analysis everything is defined we have specified maximum minimum we have specified the spring and stiffness coefficient and equilibrium displacement and we would like to create new analysis if i will select new analysis you know that we don't want to manipulate as the position but we would like to use the dynamic type and in dynamic type i'd like to use the initial state and we remember that i have specified initial states one yeah so everything is ready and change the duration for example to seconds and frame per second will be for example 30 it will be nice animation with frame 30. external load we would like to enable gravity everything is set we can run bang what does it mean mm. and i know what is the problem if you will do not specify the properties for the material the system will set really heavy model so right now you can imagine that this model is so heavy that the spring what is set correctly yeah if i will select the definition we have set up correctly the stiffness coefficient 300 but our material is not set up correctly for the plate so no problem we can jump and I will use the dragger and snapshot 135 okay we will start almost like this from scratch and i will open the plate and we can have a look so i will open the plate and over here in the plate i will use the functionality file model properties or you can use the directly icon and you can see that material is not defined but i like to define the material so you can choose from the library so for example i will use the steel and you can see that still is defined 7.85 as we really need again the material properties for this plate is correct and if i will confirm and i will jump into application and mechanism we can run the analysis again yeah so i will use the menu from here directly and you can have a look here you can change the duration or the add some additional information or you can directly run if i will run bang perfect it's working like we need and everything is specified correctly last but not least you can you can play with the spring value and parameters and you will get the result like you need so did you like this explanation how to create and use the slider for the spring dynamic analysis and specification of the properties like a video share it with your friends and donate buy coffee thank you and bye bye Vladimir.